there are two activities going uh, at the background. Um, the, the first one we see here, the timber walkway, that is for civil engineering students in level four, or that means in their first year. Mm -hmm. And we have on the further side, we have a steel structure, and that is with level five students. Again, civil engineering students working on that. Uh, I chose ARU because it's close to home, but also because it's a project-based course, which is what we're doing right now. So everything you learn in a lecture, you have a hands-on practice, which is what we're doing here. So that's one of the main reasons I chose it, because you get to do a lot of like hands-on work. Yeah, today st students are actually coming out and doing construction processes for several reasons. Uh, the first thing is it is important to understand how the things that we design actually put in place. And having an activity, a hands-on activity like this one, it helps significantly to make that link between your design and the construction process. And second, when we're talking about construction, there is a lot of tax tasks involved in there. And the students will first of all try to identify what tasks exactly going on in a construction project and what is the risk associated to that and what mitigation we put in there as well. Then they put it in place, then they put a reflection on what they do as well. So that is how we close the gap by learning from the things that we've done. And you know, the things go really well, we want to keep them doing and the things that didn't go really well, we want to fix them and come up with a, a different plan for the next year. I say take the risk sometimes, you know, Sometimes I've actually decided, you know, if I should come to uni or do a degree apprenticeship or, you know, um, do something else. But I was like, you know what, let me just go into uni, do what I can do best and let's see what the future has for me. 